happy Sunday. All day long. All day long. This is P over here. M over there. Patricia. Mariah. And together we, we are, are PM Artist Studio. Oh, that was pretty good, wasn't it? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Look at this. Well, so we have quite the uh, lineup. Lineup, because we were like, oh, we want to do this and we want to do this and we talked about this. And so I think kind of on the agenda, hopefully we'll get to everything. We've got some new stencils to show. So we'll do that right. Is that right, gonna, we're right gonna out of the gate? Right out of the gate. We are going to maybe play around with some of those today. That depends on, you know, which one she wants to get to or whatever. But at least we will show them. We are going to talk about the principles and elements matrix or elements and principles. I have dropped a link in the chat for you to download that if you want to kind of you know download that you can come back watch the replay if you want to you know fill in things um, I know some of you have already downloaded it that's awesome so happy that you did that it really does it's just it's so cool because we're like yay you know you guys want to be involved that's awesome <laughs> that makes us happy it does <laughs> all right spent a lot of time and Mariah uh, spent uh, a lot yeah. of time yeah it, it's had it's had numerous well, editorial yes, rewrites yes and revisions and I noticed there was still one typo, but it's okay. Okay, well, you know, I, I got usually, <laughs> uh, I'm answering questions about, you know, or, or feeding, or, you know, just, the, I got a five-year-old that has a lot of needs. <laughs> She's very needy. Yes. <laughs> she doesn't want you to be too far from her. I, I worry a little bit. But yeah, we're you know. having a bit of separation. It, anxiety. It's kind of amped up again here lately. Yeah, it? it's it very has. weird. I, I don't. I don't know. <laughs> I, I think it's you know the yeah. whole school thing. All right. So do give the thumbsy upsies on this video if you're watching the replay. That works as well. Please do thumbsy upsies. Let people know I liked it. You may like it as well. If you're new to the channel, do subscribe. Ring that bell. It is the number one way and freest way to support everything that we do here. It is very much appreciated. For those of you that are here and you want us to say hello and for us to know that you are here, you have to say hello in the chat. If you guys would please do that now so that way I can go ahead and read it off and say hello and you know all that. We had a few pop in and say hi. I think Stella was here. I don't know if she still is and then Mary and so I love it that you guys, you know, even if you're off doing things during the day, you pop in, say hello. That that means a lot to us as well, um, coming back and watching the replay. So I'm yeah, going to at least say hello to you back. Yes. Um, so we have Heather, Candy, Cindy, Colleen, Dana, Cindy Schuer. Hello, Cindy Schuer. I'm so glad you're here today. We have Chris in um, Mexico. Ooh. Yes, I'm glad that you made it here. She says that uh, Tuesdays and Thursdays are kind of hard for her, but... Um, which is understandable because she's working. Yes. <laughs> you know, people do that. <laughs> so we have um, our Colleen, Dana, Jackie Schoen. Welcome. I think that you are in here. Judy, Kathy, Lexi, Lois, Maggie, Mary, Ellen, Penka, Ricky Nordmeyer, Sandy Franklin. We have Silver Granny and her Grumpy Gnome. That's also Lynn. I don't know if the Grumpy Gnome thing is out with us as well, but do say hello to him as well. Uh, Susan Anderson, Susan Dufresne, and Texture Junkies, a.k.a. Sharon. All right. If I missed you, just, you know, hey, Mariah. Hey, hey, hey. Just say, hey, Mariah, in the chat, and I will say hello back. Okay. Oh, she had dental surgery yesterday. Oh, yeah, that's, yeah, that's no fun. Yeah, that isn't fun. Mm -mm, mm -mm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, just lurk away. Glad you said hello. Carla's here. Mats. And Joni, I think. I don't, I don't think I said Joni in the thing. It's kind of funny how it doesn't, you know, I wish it would like, you know, in the last 10 minutes or since the start, it like lists them. But I think you have to be like fairly active or fairly recently for all of that to happen. Okay, now, where are we at? Um, any announcement things? Uh, it's September. It's striking sticks time, y'all. That's the collab. If you want to know more about that, you got to go over to Makers. Darcy, you still here? Did I say hello, Darcy? Hello, Darcy. <laughs> Will you drop that hashtag in for the um, for the makers so that way people can come over there? Um, any announcements that we have or that I announce, um, there will be more information in the Makers of Mixed Media Art and Artists Facebook group. The collab is the thing that we do with YouTubers and non-YouTubers. Non-YouTubers post in makers. That's YouTubers 
kind of do our thing and we'll have a date and time and I don't remember exactly what it is but it's around the 20th I'll tell you that um, that we will be dropping videos for the hop uh, if you are interested in that do reach out to me if you have a channel of over a hundred I think a hundred subscribers I think that's where we have that anymore um, there is that information we are doing the hundred dollar giveaway like we do each and every month the way that you enter that is by posting over there on social media you have to link to us all this you know there, there's information um, Nightbot will drop that in at some point too I think for the giveaway information or um, if you guys will just hashtag that giveaway that would be awesome I think that's it okay you ready to go topside you want to show some stencils all right awesome woohoo hey Marsha so glad you're here and Jacqueline, all right, all right, people popping in, love it. Let's go topside. I think you made this coffee a little strong today. I'm love feeling a little. I she just made the coffee. It normal. Mm, are you sure? <laughs> just feels a little zingier. That's well, I didn't have. Well, I did have coffee yesterday. I don't know. You had iced coffee yesterday. Just it was feel, very strong. Feeling a little ring, ring. Alrighty, are we at topside yet? We are. Why All does right. it feel like that got... I don't know. I just feel like that's kind of wonky. What? Get... I don't know. It's fine. Is it good? Yeah, you're fine. <laughs> Is it where it needs to be? Yeah. Sort of kind? I don't know. I just feel like it's on a lean. Maybe it's my eyeballs. Could be me. Because it looks straight here, but... I just have one. Like else. it needs this... No, I really feel more like it should be, you know, like this. Don't you touch it. She goes. She... There, that's a little better. Thank you. She just wanted to prove to me that she could touch it and not mess I... it up. <laughs> Usually I'm knocking my head on it. Or the cat's knocking that one over over there. Yeah. All right, well, here's worms. Mealworms. So here is Meal the, the thing. How the, you know, sometimes we have about a million other um, stencils that we should be designing, but then I get like kind of distracted. And... <sighs> do I see worms at PM? Yes, you do. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> worms. And I have to show you For what the I lizards. <laughs> Some of the insides here. Yeah, not so much on that one. And she's been Frankenstein. I've been Frankenstein like crazy because I took the insides of the worms and made them into little. Here's the deal. If you want the inside of the worm, because this is not something we would typically send. Because it's kind of small. If you want it, you and need to tell us. And they're very boingy. Yes. Okay, I can't show you that until I get through with oh, all the stencils. Oh, thank you, Susan. Here, I will drop in information Just, if you want to. Um, if you want to know more about um, Peace Shirt, I will drop that information in. Oh, I'm yes. dropping a link. Vote. Vote. Um, we love that. But here you go. Because we. And I was kind of hoping Scotty, Scotty would yeah. pop in. She may come in later. She's, awesome. she's got lot. She's got lots of stuff, and she's very social. And she's um, on California time, so we have lots of people on California time. We do. Mm-hmm. Oh. We do. I don't know what time it is in California because mm -hmm. I don't need to. That is um, that is Scotty Ross's um, shop, and you know she donates. I think all of the proceeds of everything that she has in her shop to various things, so uh, it's always a good cause. Always, always, always. Plus, she's a really cool person. She is very cool. She knows a lot of people. She does. <laughs> And, and, and like and important we, people yes and we have sim similar interests yes okay so the worms are great not only for the worms now I I've really been into this you know making my frankincenses so I haven't had a chance to really gel plate with these but I'm very excited see, yeah see our, our Californians are chiming in since yes it's 8 a.m. here oh my lord well yeah. no wonder you know yeah. I, Sunday's my would is usually my day off before we started all this business. Oh, and I, I have to report back to you. I have new sleep pants <laughs> with no holes with in no them. Holes. I'm going to use my shirt that Pete, you know, fixed for me yeah. with Izzy socks. Yeah, because my last pants had holes in them, and Mariah said Izzy socks weren't going to cover the hole. So <laughs> you may have to find maybe um, one of your I'm socks. just going to donate. I'm going to keep the legs of them because they don't have holes on them. Yeah. And then I can patch some of my others that have holes in them. Yeah, and here's the thing about, yeah, the worms, because I was telling Lisa about it. She's kind of like, ew, yuck, you know, worms. 
the thing is, is in this form, you could make them look cute. They could be fun worms. They don't even necessarily have and to be worms. And they could be like a background. I mean, if you did it like this, mm -hmm. you know, and just had them all over hither and yon, and, and did it in a really Hi, low Sherry. contrast, you would just sort of see them. Then you could put like something like this. Oh, well, you need to find that, friend. She has a caterpillar Over the stag top. monster. Mm -hmm. That'd be awesome. Oh, and then we have skulls. And then we have skulls. And These are all available in the shop right now. I'll, um, I'll drop the link. And you should really ask for your outer on this one, because this outer on this one is really interesting. In fact, I'm going to cut it like this and use these to make, well, I'll show you that a little bit later. Yeah. But aren't they cute? I love them. Yeah, see, we got lots of Californians, and it's going to be another hot day. It was muggy here. I mean, like, muggy. We got, <sighs> well, we've had, uh, you know, bits of rain, but nothing, you know, to cool anything off. No. But that has not happened. Now, one morning, it was actually like there was a nice breeze, and Brad and I were kind of, oh, this is nice. It's like, oh. Okay, these are a little bit bigger for the bigger plates. I love how Brad has done the teeth here, and I just think hey, and he is... had to work the. That was the trickiest part. Oh man, those I right. can imagine. But I love all of them because you know the lower mandible is list missing here, but here we have it intact. So, you know, if we were to do a forensic, <laughs> we would be able to do a yeah. dental identification. Oh, it's 104 there yesterday. Oh goodness. <gasps> mm -mm -mm. Oh. We haven't had that lately, knock on wood. Mm, but the humidity well, has been so yeah. high that, oh my lord. Yeah, you walk out and it's like, you know, you don't dare, to, like if you take a shower, you're going to need another one. All right, here we go. Crickets and... Uh, and then uh, in this set, you get some of the little, the smaller mealworms too. There's four of them. Um, she don't... mixed them in with the others. So, like, the mealworm, the whole lot of mealworms, you get 18 of them. And then in the buggy set with the crickets, and these are Dubai roaches. And by the way, here's a little fun fact about Dubai roaches. Because, see, this is what lizards eat. They can live up to two years, and they don't smell. So they're nice to feed to the lizards, because then you can keep them, and it's not gross. Other than them being cockroaches. Or roaches. I don't know if Dubai roaches and roaches. There's so many different well, ones, but they're fun little buggy things. Be fun for Halloween. Plus, crickets are good luck. Yes, absolutely. I know that the, um, there's Madagascar <laughs> cockroaches are huge. and I did the bugs. Yeah, Mariah did the bugs. Yeah. She worked very, very diligently <laughs> on the bugs. Not finished yet. Oh, did you get put in the corner? I didn't see that. What? Well, were you acting up, Sharon? I think it was an accident. <laughs> yes. And then see, here are the lizards. You guys asked for it. You wanted a frilled one? That one was for Julie Parker. Because she said, Mariah, what about a frilled lizard? I said, well, heck yeah. We should do that. I can't remember who asked for the... And this is a short horned. This... A.K.A. horny toad. That's what we call them in Texas. And this sort of looks like the lizard that Prudence always has. You know, Ginger? Prudence Mapstone? Mm -hmm. She takes pictures of Ginger. That's the name of her lizard. Iguana. This, an, is, this particular one is an, an iguana. iguana. Well, hers has that little... Mm -hmm. And I can't remember what the name of it is. I should know. That's really terrible. Yeah. My brain just isn't what it used to be. Now, the lizards is just like... That's the set. That's the size... Three lizards. Three lizards. That's it. Because I think if we make them any smaller, they're going to lose some of their details, which makes them less fun. Yes, absolutely. Okay, so here's... Oh, and here, I should talk about this first because then I can get it out of here. Okay. This is my sneak preview of my project for sticks. What have you been up to? She's sneaking off and doing stick thing. Okay, I just had to do this because the bead chest is a really cool place to order, and I mean they get it here in a in a New York minute. Like I mean, Amazon like a couple style. of days. Yeah, <laughs> I mean they move along. These are Krobo beads from um, Ghana. Those are very beautiful, and they're made 
from recycled glass. They pulverize it and make it into powder and put it in little molds. Nice. And uh, yeah. So, and it's supporting, you know, an indigenous industry, which I'm always about. Okay, so, speaking. Uh oh! This, and I just had to show, this is the top to my turtle, which is actually an ashtray, but I don't think it ever was used for such. Hey, Laura! But anyway, this is my brooch that I sewed all of these buttons on. You can see my sewing on the back there. And these are all pearl buttons. Oh yeah, you made that for the, the turtle. For the turtle's shell. And then on the inside are the beads that I made in a live mm -hmm. from, um, I don't know, I think these were from gel prints. Yeah, from like, all, I think that's almost been a year. Can you believe that? Wow. But I'm going to use some of these in my stick project. Mm -hmm. So, and you got some nifty uh, newsprint, which I tore up and we will be, if we make it to that part. Because the other thing that we talked about doing today was bracelets. I don't mm -hmm. know if we're gonna get to bracelets or not. But there's actually a bracelet video. You better put some things on a bracelet. You're gonna show those bracelets. We talked about it. You at least have to show them the bag. I found the bag. I want you all to know, because she was worried about that. I think really that was kind of a stall tactic. She didn't think that I actually knew where it was, but I did because I was the one that put it away. I, t I told her, I said, I've, I've lost it. I don't know where yeah, it is. Yeah, I know. And I said, oh, that's okay. I know where it's at. So, <laughs> I'm really not motivated to do bracelets. Um, <laughs> you know. But... I may drag that out and show that just, you know, so she'll hush and stop giving me yeah. problems. All right. <laughs> if you order this set, you definitely need to ask for this because I'm going to show you why. Oh, that's a great... Oh, here, Carla says mealworms. I raised those in my classroom. They're most interesting critters. She gave the kids a magnifying lens and a ruler and asked them to make 25 observations. <gasps> Uh, they're high in protein. Like, you know, if we were, you can eat them. Like, as people, I think people eat them. Not totally into that. Like, if I had to, I think I would. You'd get over it. And I think some people even, like, you know, grind them into things, make like fritters and. <laughs> Crunchy worms. Hmm. You, know. Uh, you know, as long as I didn't think about it too yeah, long, I, I think don't... I would do it. Okay, now here's the, here's, here's the guts of the worms. On, on the uh, no sticky tape. Isn't it? Aren't they cool? They're like little ladders, or maybe little skeletons mm -hmm. from the worms. But look at this is so cool because these are what I told you on the other thing here. These are the in inners. I, I think some people put them in chocolate, Lisa. You could have chocolate covered ones. Yeah. She said oh. she preferred chocolate. <laughs> you can have both. Yeah. There you go. But this is the inside here. You can see it. And oh, yeah. Look at see? you. Getting cr and I, now, on that, any of you that have ordered or plan to order Archie Pieces, that's the first set. What she just showed there, I send that along. Now, I cut, I cut them into threes already. Just for shipping purposes, it just makes it a little easier to pack them up that way. But if you want me to leave it in the one sheet together so you can kind of decide what you want to do with it, just, again, special notes. You know, it has, like, I think it says special notes. Okay, now, this really is, this is great because this leads into the whole idea of why we are acquainting ourselves with the elements and principles of design. <laughs> is so that we can actually utilize that in making choices in collage or even when I put this and I'm so in love with this I, I may have to just make another one because I think yeah. that this is so beautiful yeah you need to glue that down somewhere I'm that's what I'm thinking get a little canvas and and you know I was just thinking about it and you know you kind of I don't know that when you're doing it, you're necessarily thinking about it. But when I look at this now, I start thinking about musical instruments. Mm -hmm. Because the 
the are they called the frets on the guitar? Yes. And you have like a so part of a harp here. You have the body of a lute. Well, and so that's so interesting. We haven't really talked about this. I'm so glad that you mentioned that. So, you know, a lot of times musicians even refer to their instruments as, you know, like their girlfriend or, you know, but the shapes of many instruments are very similar to the female form. form. Which then, you know, here we've been talking about Archipenko and the lines and even the negative space and, and, and you know, that, that the space in between here and out here yeah. is some of what you're also seeing there, but then you add in more of those, like the string lines or like you said, the frets. And now it becomes more instrumental. It has a very jazzy sort of feel to it. Yeah, um, because this could this could be like a guitar here that's slightly or even the the really tall the bass um oh yeah 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 cuz it has the long neck on it or a yeah. cello so yeah a whole orchestra yeah whole orchestra i just and i i you know i ran out of um the tape that i like the best and i told Mariah, i said not all yupo tape is the same <laughs> the washi washi sorry yupo just... is the yeah sorry washi tape is is made the same way. And and this one right here is really sucky poop. This one right here, this blue stuff. That's the good one. This is the best stuff ever. It doesn't come loose. I haven't tried the silver yet, but the one that really is really horrible is the one that has nice writing on it. It's very interesting. And a lot of the times... It's no sticky. They come in a set together. Like, when I order them to do the, the, to do the orders... I've been ordering kind of the same one. Even in that set of of tape, the washi tape, there are some that have a different feel. I don't know. Maybe it's because of the ink, the coloring. Oh. I don't. I don't know. Like how how it's all made or whatever. But I, it's very interesting. But well, this is my favorite, and she doesn't have any more of it. Not all washi. So if you have some of this and you're willing to part with it, boy, I'll take it. <laughs> Have me that skinny, skinny watch. I'll, I'll, uh, yeah, I'll, I'll hook you up with some stuff if you send me your washi tape. Well, and remember, see, because Picasso is in that Cubist mm -hmm. time period as well. Yeah. So, all of these things that we've seen and in, in looking at shapes and form in this this manner, it, it makes sense because it all sort of was really celebrated, and that was what that. Is it genre? Is it genre? Period. Period. Era. Era. Melu. Um, yeah, style. Style. Yeah, but it is a style, stylistic period that, that is identified by right. certain tenets. Yeah. And that's T E N E T S, not T E N N E T S. <laughs> Okay. Oh, and then let's talk about. Oh, I wish I, I don't know if Gretchen's here, or if she's listening in the background, or um, whatever. But we were just so we, we loved the word, it was so cool that her husband was, you know, participating kind of, you know, through her. That was awesome. And so, the palimpsest, palimpsest, so that was the word, and the meaning of it, it was actually the second um, definition on it, you know, because some words have two, two definitions which is the one I should have read um, but it's something reused or altered but still bearing visible traces of its earlier form and that is so Isn't like I wonderful? mean that really should be just, our <laughs> definition like PM Artist Studio that says who we are perfectly like because that's what we do all the time that's what we do all the time that's what I'm doing here we need a shirt that says palimpsest ask me <laughs> PMR <to> studio. studio. <laughs> I love it. That's funny. Okay, now I'm going to leave this right here because we're going to get into talking about. And right now, we're, more. remember we talked about these words. I don't know that we need to talk <laughs> about. Is this in the um, blog? The deaf word definitions. I believe so. Okay. Yes. Very good. And we, we, let me drop. Let me drop that link in because all of the, so the, you can download the matrix guide there and, um, 
And that was the metacognition notes that we talked about where, you know, this is where we're, we're kind of starting to expand upon all of this information. Okay, I'm gonna have to, and it's really short, like, the, I mean, I say all of this information, it is not like, we, we do not write long. I, I just people. write words that help me remember, you know, something. I, I'm gonna get rid of this stuff here. I don't really know where I'm gonna put it, but. I, I just need more elbow room here because uh, I would like to get it all. Mariah, can you still see that? No, I'm looking for it. Hold on. Um, yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Are those new notes? Those are new notes. These are not new new notes. New as in N E W. Yeah. Okay. Here, I love this. <laughs> okay. This is this was the first draft. You can see. I told you there. Were, I didn't like anything that Mariah found online. Those were not my definitions that I wanted to use. But here's the disclaimer mm -hmm. alert. These definitions can be crafted through personal use and utility. If you have something, and art is a language, this is your language you're going to be using. You're learning new words. Or, you know, you're going to be using old words in a new way, which is all part of it. Then you need to have a grasp on it, not only because it's cool to know, but because you're gonna use it. It's going to help you go further, faster, later. Okay, that aside. Now here's the definitions of all of them, but let me show you the matrix. Okay, here's the number one, you can see. <laughs> it's funny what she found at the same time. <laughs> Good job. We, we, uh, we changed a lot on that. <laughs> And here, here's the, the form that you will, this is how it will look when you get it. Yeah. When you download it. Now, are we going to talk about that a little bit, like how they can use that? Yes, okay. we are. Perfect. Absolutely. Gail's here, too. So, and I think Gail's very interested in. All right. So, here we are with the matrix. And it is, what it is, is you come up here and your principles are listed across the top. Oh, I they are the defined header. here on this other page. So don't forget to get both because this is the page that you're going to make notes on what it is that you're going to be looking for. It's one download. It's one download. Both and things all are together. There. Excellent. Mm -hmm. Well, that certainly makes it yes. very user friendly. So we're just going to start here. And the thing about it is, you're not always in every artwork going to use everything. You may, I mean, you know, it. You may have. Um, I highly recommend you do balance because that's really important and that's one of the things that I was working on here was balance so you can see that and what is balance balance comes in three major forms symmetrical asymmetrical and radial and radial would be the coffee filters oh and like Sharon's been using her round plate. Lots of you guys are starting to okay. post things in makers with the round plate. And, That's and radial. The, <laughs> radio, and the um, very radial, um, what do you call those things? The Oh, and Marcia says she highly recommends a book by Jane Davies, Abstract Painting. And we were, you were saying abstract. We've got to, you know, keep talking, you know, driving that home. The Elements of Visual Language. It is. This is the. This is the. the this is how you speak. Yes. Art. Because it is, it, and, and it, it it's a country all of its own. <laughs> they have their own language there. Abstract. Abstract. <laughs> it's kind of like Texas. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So definitions here. There is room for you to make your own little notes here as we're talking. Okay. So balance. How have I balanced this? Well, I balance is obviously asymmetrical, but it's somewhat symmetrical in a way that, you know, it's not exactly. But if I were to say which form of balance, I would lean towards, this is pretty much symmetrical. I've pulled some of the pieces off so that it isn't. Symmetrical is very static. And usually, I don't know, other than in stained glass windows, 
I'm not a big fan of using it as is. And you will notice, even when I was using our, our circular, what do you call these things? Here's how I... Now, now this is... This you is, just have to answer my question. What am I talking about? You know, the quilt circle things. The What are those called? That we have, our stencils. Oh, the... um Oh, yeah, quilted crop circles. Okay. The mandalas. Yes. You will notice, even when I use them on the gel plate, I don't just plop them down in the middle. I will take them and put them here and there. That's to create an energy, a flow, a, a dynamism. Oh. That, I don't know if that's a word. Sounds that good. isn't there when it's just plopped down. Yeah. Okay. All right. Now, I'm sorry, Mariah. Go ahead. Okay. So, what excites me about when she talks about, you know, symmetrical versus, you know, asymmetrical design or whatever. So, in graphic design, I cannot tell you, like, how many people, their safe place is, everything is centered. Lined up. Lined up. Love it. Especially men, for whatever reason. I don't know why this is. They love things to be centered. Like, you know, in, in all of it, like in, in one centered thing. You, you start putting things off to this side. Oh, oh, yeah. We can't have that. That makes me uncomfortable. But then you have to ask yourself, well, why is that? Well, it needs to be balanced out. Yeah, if you have everything shifting off to this side of the page, then you kind of feel like you're, yeah, you know, tilting. tilting. But then balance it out. You need a picture over here, but then you can have your text being right justified. I love that. And what's very interesting, because I, and Mariah, we talk about lizard brain a lot around here because kind of that's where we are with Izzy on a lot of things. And I'm not being... No, uh, we're not being mean. Like, it's just, no. Like, when is this other part of your brain going to activate? Because, like, having a conversation with but you is ridiculous. In, in societies that are less <clears throat> technological or whatever, and they're they choose their mates by the symmetrical qualities of the face because it indicates health. So maybe, you know, that, that part of the brain is, is coming in from, you know, way long ago. Mm -hmm. And that's what is creating that little sense of, you know, if it's asymmetrical, hmm, mm. don't know about that. But if you balance out something that is asymmetrical, it still feels right in the world, but yet it creates more interest. And I think that, that this is... It, this. it can keep people engaged longer, too. It because does. Because it forces them to stop and go, oh, wow, okay, I'm going to read this information. It keeps them engaged longer. It does, because you don't know that the other side is exactly the same as this side, so why do I want to look at any of the other sides? Because it's going to be the same. Because your brain is automatically, like, when you make a safe, kind of predictable thing, whether that's in writing or anything, it is just human nature, I believe, to... Because you, you, you're going to try to grab as much information as quickly as possible and then make a quick assessment. I mean, that's just how our brains work. On well, that's the, how we've survived. On the lizard brain yeah. level of things. So, yes, very interesting. So when you start to interrupt that a little bit, you slow people down. You say, hey, you need to take notice here. Something else is going on here. It's yeah. not all predictable. Excellent, excellent point. This is usually a conversation that we it have, is. like, kind of, and then I'm like, wait, how does it alive? <laughs> and, and, but, and, and we've kind of tried to put it off because I felt like that was what would happen once we really got into this. Yeah. That it, it would naturally occur because, you know, Mariah and I have worked together for a long time. I mean, even before we started doing this. Yeah. We would, she would either come to Friona, where, is, where I, that's what I taught, or we would go on spring break together. Yes. Every single year we would do that. That was sort of our traditional time together. And it always involved art museums. Um, probably I was more into that than Mariah was. Um, but nonetheless, I drug her along. She at least had to have one day with me at the art museum. I didn't make her go back the next day when I did. But, yeah. Um, yeah. She let me sleep in. <laughs> well, that was back in the day when she was doing other things. All right. So... I think that we've got our idea of with balance here. Now, what I will do on balance, I will go down here and I will say, well, okay, how is this balanced? Well, obviously, shapes. 
because some of the shapes are repeated. Even some of the little blippy whatever. Yeah, yeah. yeah, blippy blops. Value is definitely, yeah, we put that under harmony. That is repeated. And, okay, if we balance texture-wise, I think so. Mm -hmm. Because we've got a lot of the same texture on all the little um, laddery forms. Bony ladder fret forms. And definitely, we are balanced color-wise. Yes. Okay. That's, and that's, you know, I just ticked off the boxes here. Oh, and Evie and Trish are going to be, um, just, wait, she's going to teach Trish how to do it today. <gasps> Yay! Did she say today oh. or when she gets her plate? Yes, today. Awesome. Uh, you know, I, I, the reason the gel plate, and I've been gel plating for what, two years now? Yeah. Over two years. I think so. And it's still not boring to me because there are so many things you can do with it. I mean, it, it can be a printing device, but it can also, look at this. I'm creating my pieces for a collage because I fully intend to glue this down. I just haven't decided on a background yet. And I thought that this white piece of paper would best exemplify the pieces and parts I have here. Yeah, giving good contrast to view the view yes, it so as, that you can yeah. really focus on those pieces and parts. Okay, let's go across here. We uh, Harmony and unity relies on repetition. It's what makes the thing feel like it belongs together. It feels right in the world. That's, yeah, I think you can, uh, you know, whatever. Like, you know, obviously all the color and then everything that we, we've talked about already has created that has created that. And if we go up here, we've got textures. You, the texture is repeated enough. The little swoopy stuff, the little, these little things, the texture of the edge of the laddery shapes, those all are repeated enough in different sizes. So we'll get down here to variety, which is coming up over here. Do I have a focal point here? Um, I feel like you do because I think it's because you have balanced it out at balanced it out that's it, it really does keep bringing you back to the center. The movement itself has created the Good fact point. that you stay in there. You Good do not point. have to have like a thing in the middle that says focal point <laughs> that screams at you right hollers at you yo ho. <laughs> Does it? That you are here dot at the mall. <laughs> and I really think if you know, if you were to talk about an area where there is emphasis, yeah. I, I don't necessarily I'm not gonna say a focal point. I think it's this this here. Uh-huh. Just because of the size and the interesting little textury, wavy, dotty things. And there. everything that brings you around into that little area, it says you can rest here. Yes, yes. And it's a it, good safe place to this rest. This is a good place. And if you will notice, I have I, I spent a lot of time working on this, and and before I even glued any. So she's really becoming particular about her Franken sizzle. Usually it was more of a utility utility kind of thing where you were sticking things together. Now the sticking together is becoming part of the design. <laughs> it very much so. Before it was just a way to get you know when the pieces I, together. When I was doing these guys, you know this was yeah. just a way. This was a way to make everything somehow or other be able to pull it off quickly yeah. off of the gel plate. But that is a really good point. I think that I have. I <laughs> I've noticed your, your progression. Evolved <laughs> here into, you know, your this. Eclectic evolution has taken eclectic you to Eclectic evolution. And I mean, that is just, if, you're, if you are doing something and you're doing it exactly the same way that you were a year ago, I am thinking that perhaps you need a little yeah. nudge. Challenge yourself. Yes. Make it a little isometrical. Figure that out. Absolutely. And hello, welcome, Pom Pom Art. Do you have a name? We would love to say hello to you. Welcome, because I do believe that you are new. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Got some new people. Love it. And love do it. give love the thumbsy upsies if you're coming in, if you're brand new. Say hello. Okay. Focal point is going to be one of your elements, probably. 
And on this one, I'm definitely going with color and texture right there. It, you know, it's, it's hard to just say. All right, let's move on. Variety. What kind of variety to here, have here? Well, we've got line variety. Because these, these little lines here, the little yeah. wispy things that are kind of textural, those are lines. Yeah. Then we've got over here in these little horizontal lines. And that's one thing I want to talk about here. I want to go back to balance for just a moment. Remember when I told you about diagonals? You need to be careful with your diagonals. Can you see these diagonals are, are hitting up against something? which takes you up to these diagonals, which are hitting up against something. Don't just have it slide off the page. I, I, I like to keep diagonals away from the edge. And I, I don't, there are certain places, certain pieces that I've seen where the diagonals on the edge, it worked. But generally speaking, I think it's best because it's one of those things, it's like- It's a slippery slope. <laughs> it's a slippery slope. Zoom, you're off. It's like having your person facing into the design, your, your frog, your bird, your whatever, facing into the design rather than out. Yeah. I'm always like, okay, where's it looking? What, what else should I be looking? Where yeah. do I need to be going? Okay, yeah. I, I'm going away now. I am easily directed. <laughs> yeah. If you believe Especially that ADD not. people. All right. <laughs> so we're going back to balance and line here. We've got horizontals, strong verticals 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 horizontals balance out but i think what's really cool about these little ladder things colleen says doesn't the horizontal one toward the top stop the eye it does it does and this little one the curved one here brings you back down and i had i really um and remember this is not glued down quite yet so this probably won't be its final no i, I don't know that and i may yeah cut it up I, I don't know I have a little this area here but I yeah. don't know until I get it on the paper it's going to be on that problem could be solved with whatever with background, background. I, I do there yeah I, I'm thinking but the thing about it is if you have strong verticals you've got to have some horizontals that break it up otherwise it's just this mm -hmm. and I think that's what's wonderful about these little ladder things is they work to do that because you have the vertical and it's broken up by the horizontal. So I think that's really... And by those not being all exactly the same, that also creates movement. It does. It does. And uh, we'll get to it over here in a minute. All right. Where is the variety? Well, we've got different, <laughs> Mariah just mentioned something, yeah. different sizes of little... Uh, things these are from the worms some are on a tilt some are you know that that creates variety yeah, and what I did is I just put them down on the thing I had to flick them off because the tape wasn't pulling them up mm -hmm. you both you both washi tape was not strong enough to pull it off of the mat so I had to kind of move them and I really <laughs> didn't care that they didn't all get lined up I thought that was that's a good thing a good thing I mean, Hi, Trish. I, I couldn't have planned it any any better. Is Evie heading out as well? Bye, guys. So, we've got line variety. We have shape variety. Absolutely. Uh, form, not so much. It's not important here. Value. You can put it on some pop dots. I think we have, we've got dark values in the tape. Enough of those are repeated that that draws our eye around. Did you hear uh, me? Pardon? Pop dots. I don't know what pop dots mean. You know the little foamy pop dot things, and then that could create some three-dimensional plus, you know, come and make it come out a little bit. I'll think about that. i take that under advisement. I don't know. That sounds <laughs> kind of quirky, but I, I don't know. Okay, textures. We've got lots of variety mm. of textures. We've got some places where it's fairly smooth. Next to places where you see the wavy stuff. You've got this model -y texture here. Mm -hmm. You've got waves and... and and you've got variety in the size of oh, this. And Candy says and this. They are also in themselves different shapes. They are. Each each little one is. Yeah, the foam tape pop dots. Oh. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, 
Okay, obviously color. We've got some varieties, even though it, it's all neutrals. But no, here's the thing with color. You wanted more balance because you got sometimes you have to choose there because if you have too much variety in perhaps the color, then you are not going to have balance. No, true. So absolutely true. There are some things where you have to go. All right. Well, what is more important here? What am I emphasizing? What is going to be the focal point? Maybe you do take color, and that's the moment you go, okay, well, the variety, I know she's getting real proud of me, I can tell. So you take the variety in the color and create a focal point at that moment in time. She could end up, you know, just color, like coloring one of these on the plate, one section, and then that becomes, again, or emphasizes that one area that we've already determined sort of is already leading into as the as the focal Absolutely. point. Absolutely. And I wanted you to see it at this stage because that's very important. And I won't know what to do next until I decide on a background. Because this little problem with this corner up here. Oh, that is a good, so GDP says to impasto it. So it Oh, the background. Well, or your piece is onto using the impasto, which would create some other textures and kind of some interest there because it will dry clear-ish. That might be an interesting thing to do. That might be. I will take that under consideration. That's not something I thought of. Mm -hmm. Okay. I like that. I do too. I like that. I, I like that idea. I don't know that that will work for this, but I like it for future. Well, that's what you did with the eye thing. Yes. Remember? I did. I Well, that that was that. Um, I don't, it wasn't impasto. It was something else. It was like white. Oh, you didn't use the impasto? Mm -mm. It was this other stuff. Well, I, I, I think didn't really like it a whole lot. I know. It didn't achieve what you exactly wanted no, it to. No, it didn't. No, I was very disappointed. Hey, Gretchen, we were talking about you. We, we, we were saying, okay, I have to look at Palimpsest. the... Palimpsest. Palimpsest. We looked it up and we... We've been practicing saying yes. it. <laughs> we're very and we have, about we the just word. think that's such a PM artist word. We're, we're always going to fashion a t-shirt. Yeah. Using that word. Love and it. Yeah. I did not know what it meant. I love, I love it. Yeah. It's a wonderful word. All right, moving along here on our principles. We're over to rhythm and movement. Which I think you could probably even slide your thing because we've already touched upon many of these. And that's what will happen because as you are creating good design, some of those things are automatically going the, to, to the occur. And, yes. and you go, oh, well, because I have this, I then have rhythm and movement. We already talked about the lines being different. You have the variety that then leads into rhythm and movement because as you create a piece in its whole, many of these things will t start to sort of fall in place, especially if you recognize some of them, you will get better at it, and then it just becomes sort of a natural yes. yeah, evolution of how you design. And that is exactly what I did with the little ladders, with the frets, the guitar frets here. I knew that I wanted something because when I take the, these away here, look at that. Then you go, oh, I feel a little empty. Mm, mm. Yeah, that's I just not that's not working as well as it was. And even if I don't put these back in exactly the same place, I can still achieve achieve that. And one of the reasons that I did that like that was so that I could make them fit in there. Okay much more interesting. It also helps with your feeling of unity and rhythm because these little guys are going and then you come over here and your eye leaps across this but boy you take in that lovely texture because this is a darker value. This is and it's taking you over and this little guy comes up here, you go around here. Do you see how you're creating a path? For your viewer to follow. It's like instructions for viewing your artwork. Using 
principles and elements. All right, now I did want to talk about one more thing here before we go because we haven't talked a lot about shapes and form. And I wanted to do that because you will say, well, you know, unless you're doing something three dimensional. Well, if you want to do something and use the word form and you have to use it two dimensionally, you're going to rely on gradation. And this is where you have a value scale. That's not so important here. But if you wanted it to be important, then that's, that's what you would do. And in my classroom, the, they would identify, in first grade and on, shapes and distinguish between two-dimensional and three-dimensional. Remember that... <laughs> Yeah, they would do that. They got it. All right, we've already done lines before because remember when we did our little book on... Um, mark making? Mark making. I loved that series, and I hope that we can revisit that again. I think it would be it's important. fun. Because what I have here, what I have made, is I have made lines. I have made them diagonal lines. I have horizontal lines. And I have vertical lines. And those are really important. It's important to know that. You can create in a composition by aligning the elements in such a way that there is an imaginary line made. So that even though I don't have a line that goes in between here, everybody knows that there is actually one. I'm a little concerned about this, other than it brings you down with the edge of that shape. Yeah, and sort of drops you down. Drops you down. So that you have a line to follow there. And also, of course, we know that lines can create patterns. Aw, you guys are awesome. So, Heather says, almost like free art school. No, we are. <laughs> this, is, this is free art school yeah. for sure. And then Chris says, I would have loved to have P to have been one of my art teachers at university. This is so interesting, and I am remembering my classes. Fantastic. I, I just really, and I want to mention Dr. Mettler again, because I don't know that he's he would be even be watching something like this, but one of my students, her birthday was the other day, and she, I, I you know, you have special students. Yeah. You have special teachers. Dr. Mettler was a special, special teacher. And I, just the other day, I learned that his PhD was in philosophy. Yeah. Which blew my mind. I didn't know. He didn't ever tell me that. And what's funny is, like, where he, whenever he writes his biography anywhere or whatever, he does not, you know, re, you know, a lot of doctors are like, and I'm rightfully so. I said, hey, you know, you earned it. You should, you know, use it. But he doesn't. So it's I found Gene, that. Gene Mettler. Yeah. You should look him up. He's written a lot of books. I No, in that blog, I have links to some of his information. And so. really, really super special person. And, uh, Anyway, yeah. one of your students, Dolly. Yes. We love Dolly. I, I wished Dolly. her happy birthday, and I, I told her I think of her often. She's a teacher. She is now a teacher. And I can't remember what she said exactly, but it was like, what our relationship made me do what I'm doing today. Yeah. So, you know, you never know whose lives you will be touching. Okay. That was fun. I enjoyed that. Yeah, I know. You, she, yeah, we kind of like... We should have said, warning, teacher mode. We did that in a couple of Okay, now I'm getting into the art mode because this is, look at these lovelies here. I mean, they are just so beautiful. Now, I, I don't, where did you get those? I'm trying to figure out. Um, they came from butterflies, I think. These are the, these are the parts of the butterfly Luna. that I pulled apart. No, they're not butterflies. Oh. Luna moth. Luna moths. Yeah. Now, if you guys have ordered Luna moth and you didn't ask for your bits, and if you place an order, I mean, I have some of this stuff lying about. You have to ask for it. Special instructions. I want this. <laughs> I will send it to you. Aren't these just fun little things? And again, I don't know. These may just become... Hey, Carrie. These just may become little things that I'm going to collage with. And I've got still got... Here, you can really see the, the better fly wings parts on this one. Luna moth. Luna moth, sorry. 
And these are their little... Um, I don't want people ordering the butterflies thinking that they're going to get some of this to be like, those are not the pieces I was looking for. Okay, so... Luna moth. Luna moth. Yeah. And I have a yeah. thing stuck down here on this. <laughs> I need to get that off of there as a partial... Uh, and, and Sharon says, those are gorgeous. Oh, Gretchen. She says, I was a teacher for 35 years. Special kids stand out for a variety of reasons. Oh, and then um, Gretchen also said that she would she would order that t-shirt. Maybe we can make it already. Like, you know. Oh, yeah. We can maybe use one of the one of the designs. One of the stencil designs. And create something fun and then have And the, maybe even overlay two stencils so that the two stencils overlaying each other sort of define the word also. That would be kind of fun. Oh, we should work on that, Mariah. That we would be should. fun. All and right. should we say like um so we can say palimpsest, look it up. <laughs> be all, you know knowing whatever <laughs> okay now don't just give it out you know you know i just have to keep going back to archipenko because you know even though i'm not doing the pieces and parts from him in my brain i'm still mm -hmm. deconstructing and reconstructing well it's that whole cubism thing and then it just suddenly becomes this and that's what is wonderful about experimentation and allowing yourself to follow and the you path. can be eclectic about it too and not just think <laughs> yes. about you know just the forms don't even yeah just that's your starting point yeah. that's that's where you're starting archipenko was where we started is this where we're going to end up i have no idea and i am still struggling with my sculptural thing i haven't found the right i haven't come across the right thing but I'm not even worried about that because I know that's going to naturally evolve and it will happen when it's supposed to happen because there will be that little yeah. that one thing that I see because if we try to make it happen I, it's not to say that we wouldn't be able to create something but every time we've ever done that it was painful we end up grumpy and somebody usually cries and usually it's, me and it, it's <laughs> or, I've are we, it, it, are yeah, we, we cry together <laughs> yes that happens too. yes or you know i'm i'm just like okay i'm done this is not working and i don't i think that you need a plan but you don't need it carved in stone yeah you need to use a stick in the sand so that you can wipe it out and start over or do something different yeah don't make yourself crazy I do love this, and I have it, it is it has evolved. It's not even the same anymore. But here are here are some more of little, the little parts that I can still play with, and I don't want to get these mixed up. So I'm going to move these out of the way because this is how I lose things. Is I put them on top of each other, and then I can't find them again. <laughs> and then she was so or they excited because she found things this morning. She's like, I've been oh. looking for this. <laughs> Like, well, you know, you make it to the end of the pile, and, you know. <laughs> okay. It's a pot of gold every time. <laughs> I know this doesn't seem like such a, a wowsy palsy, but, you know, it's kind of like your black shirt. Uh, this is the Swiss Army knife. Yes, I love this thing, and I use it <laughs> all the time. All right, now here is the, and I was just noticing this, and I can't remember what I did with that piece of paper. <laughs> You know when you do flop offs, and you're going, man, that's what I wanted it to look like. Uh huh. This is what I got. Uh huh. But I really want that. Uh huh. This is this, this is the the chicken and the egg, the mask and the stencil. <laughs> I just you know I just really love this because it's very organic -y. You 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 want the. I like this. Right. That that's the negative space. The That's negative the in between part. Right. The negative space of a mask is sometimes, yeah, not necessarily what you want. What you're looking for is are this outside stuff. Yes. The, the, the thing as a whole. The outside stuff. What surrounds the whole. Oh, Carla wants to stitch on that stencil, uh, on the wonky net. 
<laughs> it does sort of look like a, a what are the, yeah. Yeah. That would be great. Oh, it would be. I, I don't have patience for that. No. Um, <clears throat> yeah, I, I can't do that. We should give one to Izzy, though. I bet she could do some cool things. She's been she, sewing. She's making us crazy. Because she, she just she does not. Uh, we need to find a needle that has an eye that is big enough. Color of, and a giant magnet over here, so that way she can just stick it up to the magnet. Because somebody's going to All right, now here, here it is. And I don't know. This is this is this one. Hello, Christy. Okay, remember these guys? Yeah. Then I'm still working oh, on. Oh, they want to know about your ring. My ring. Which mm -hmm. one? I think the one that looks like a mood ring, but it's not a mood ring. Or is it a ring? No. I don't have a mood ring. Mm -hmm. It's my copper. Ginger. No, the one with the stone in it. This. This. That. It's, um... I think it's dyed sea urchin. What? I don't know. I can't really remember. Um... Yeah, I really like it. I like that color. But it's it's some kind of dyed stone. I don't think that's its natural awesome. natural form. I got it so long ago, I don't even remember. All right, you can see I've been working on this. I've been removing things and adding things. So there you go. And this is just from a pieces and parts. Carrie. See, you can very much see where um, I'm adding. We have like the small one, which would fit like a five by seven plate. Then there is the eight by ten, which would go well on an A4. Like that what would you fit the wonky net. Oh, yeah, I have a great big one. We even have a two by three for ATC. You know me. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> oh, I went through the ATCs the other day, and you know. Because we're doing the thing for Joni. Because, um, uh, yes, those of you, once again, over in Makers that are doing the ATC swap, remember she has the the members, you know, everybody who signed up, she has the partnering. Um, I did take it off of the featured thing today, but I'll put it back up. Or just holler at me and I'll find it. But it's in the in the files area yeah, also. Um, great. But... Joni, please get with me because I do want to get you some graphics so that way you can do this again. I know, I think Paula probably reached out to you or plans on it because I think the ATC thing inside of Makers would be very fun to continue on. And anybody that is in, interested, you know, be sure you're part of the Makers of Mixed Media Art and Artist Facebook group. And then um, watch for those signups from Joni. Joni's going to be our ATC leader. Person. Okay. All right. I, I'm going to move these aside may get back and use them later but I want to show you some of the new things and I don't know is this new mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. artist trading cards yes yeah. we have Mariah you should get the box and show them our box is it back over where it belongs mm -hmm. oh she put things in front of my I hesitate getting out the box because here's what happens she looks through the box. I'm not. I promise I won't look through it. I will just show them. <laughs> but she already did. She spent two days fussing with, you know, ones that are supposed to be done, but not necessarily. I don't ever show her the ones in the book because those are like done, done. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> she has them under glass. Yep. That's the only way I don't do anything to anything anymore. I'm just showing you this because these are all possibilities for Here, I'll my... Here, if you show it in the big textures oh by um, the way so you know those we're we're, we're texans we, we eat queso queso is made from velveeta cheese yeah and rosel see i even went a little extra texan for it. <laughs> it happens when i start thinking about it um <laughs> but the velveeta cheese boxes are the best yeah. your atcs if you're you know They're mass producers like we have been None of these have backs on them yet, and none of them, you know, they aren't done until they go to the book, for sure. And then she'll mess about with them. Okay, here's here's my two categories. Mm -hmm. Anything behind this card is done. Below that, written in pink, is maybe, mm -hmm. with a smiley face. <laughs> <laughs> these at the back here are keepers. Uh -huh. And boy, you better have some special stuff. No, she, the, she has no trade on it. Because, see, 
no traits. You better be, yeah. Bring it. <laughs> Bring it on. But anyway, this is, I just think this is fun. And the reason that we have so many like this is because remember, we were going through that stage where we were, I was showing you how to use the gel plate to get multiples out of one gel plate right. print. Well, and then these are great when we um, do texture. So a lot of times we'll cut that stuff up. Anything that was bigger, we'll cut it down. Yeah. That's the beauty of an ATC. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, here's my fail transfer, sort of fail transfer. But, you know, part of the problem with the transfer thing, <laughs> I was trying to make the color different because I wanted to use the design on the page for a collage. I didn't want to opaque it which if you want to get a good transfer, you, you need to use a darker opaque yeah. paint. Yes. Because the that stuff just doesn't work. And here you can see this transferred lovely. And then I put these guys over the top in that hot pink. Thank you, Carrie. <laughs> this is so loving the aqua yeah. rose. All right, so one of my jobs this last week was to do these little PM artist circles which Mariah sent in away to Cody to yes. in, emboss, that's not the word, inlay. inlay. Inlay on the top of Baron. a Baron. A bigger bear. A bigger one. Hopefully it fits you. Hopefully it does. I drew out, like I, I traced her hand. I kind of, I think, I can't remember. I, I wanted to say it might have been one of the Cathy's that like <laughs> she also like used kitchen tools and things to figure out, you know, like the proper size and because it, it does, it kind of matters, like all of yeah. that. And so I drew out some circles and then made some notes. And so, yes, she put some of the little, I cut them out in a Yupo. And so we have some of those. Um, now I put I the extras there. over there. I don't know what you oh, did. Oh, well, yeah, I be, these were too big. I, I'm thinking because after we determined the size, but we have these little, you know, yupo -y pieces. Now here, here these these are two that I think they're uh, very polymcist. Yeah. Because they look like that maybe there's something underneath, and I went over this with a clear bluish. Jacqueline, we're just giving you a reason, like you know that, like if you were to buy Velveeta, there's a use for the box. Yeah. You can buy the Velveeta and throw it away. And we do keep the, um, once they are final, and then ones that people send to us, we keep in a binder. Like with the trading card, you know, like plastic holder sheet thing. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Hey, Sonia. I'm glad you're here. Sonia's part of our Makers right. Creative Collab. Christy Hartman is also. We have Judy. We have Lisa. Sharon. See who else is here that's part of the collab. I'm trying to think. I think that's it. Better tell me in the chat. <laughs> All right. Well, Darcy. Yes, Darcy's part of. It. I just, I don't, I just want to talk about this. I don't want to do it. That's fine. So I can just show them what you need, and I, I think it's. She's just not into the bracelets right now. I'm just not. And part of it is... She needs about 20 of them because she likes to do everything in batches. A lot like the ATCs. What I really want is Excuse I want Mariah me. to go with me to the Goodwill or the Salvation Army. I want to <coughs> buy some cheapy, yucky. crap plastic bracelets and redo them. Because the thing about bracelets is... Or hey, <laughs> if you guys have any <laughs> just, you know, bad costume jewelry, plasticky that would work yeah. as a base if you want to send them to us. Then I don't have yeah, to go and to I really, I really like the smaller gauge. <laughs> okay, here I'm we are. I thought you had that. That was good. What? I, I didn't even notice that you had that, you know, I, I, I chewed it, up. Yeah. Good job. I, I know. I really like this size right here and even smaller. Well, that's tape roll right there. Yeah, it is. Tape rolls are great. Because the thing is, you. You need them to go to different places on your arm. I think we talked about this yeah. the other day. Now, I absolutely adore this bracelet. It's but tight. it's so big that it's just about all, I mean, that's it. The width of it. Yeah. It's, it's, and the same way with this one. I love that. 
I, I really want to send That's this. That's some Iris Apple. This is some Iris Apple right here. <laughs> but I would have to take everything else off just to wear this one bracelet. Now this is a little bit better size. Again, some of my... I think this is really nice. Mm -hmm. I think that one you redid recently because that yeah, looks I like... Yeah, I think so. And here, this one too. And this one is kind of cool because see how it has... It's thick and then thin. Mm-hmm. Variety. And I have signed this one, so this oh, means she... it's really done. Oh, this was done in 2016. Look at that. I put the date in there. Yeah. That's amazing. It is. I think this is really pretty. Mm -hmm. But this mm -hmm. is done using um, rubbings. Yeah, so when we did the... This was before we were calling it frittage. Absolutely. Now look at this. I think this is really pretty. I think this is some gel printing. That was a redo. This was a redo. I think it was bacon. And here's blue bacon. Yeah. <laughs> and I really like green. You can tell. Oh, Lisa Mingus has covered a few of her rubber blade bracelets with fabric. And they are waiting. Either have buttons or beads on them. Yeah, well, there you go. Okay, that one's signed, too. Can't read the date. Oh, four. Oh. oh, this is really an old one. This was made when I was doing this. Kind of the, a toast shape. It does look like a little bit of green toast. Green toast. Oh, I do like this one. It says lovely. Mm-hmm. I think that's 12. 16. Is it? Can yeah. you see it? I can, yeah. Oh, okay. And here's another one of my bacon ones. Well, you can tell. I really wasn't finished with this because I didn't sign it. I like this one. I was doing a lot in 2016. I even went through and took one of those mm -hmm. um, markers. And I don't That's kind of that's dippy. Dippy, yeah. yeah. I, don't, I don't know what you're thinking. I don't know what I was thinking. Oh, look at this. This is wonderful. Look at the depth yeah. on this. Okay, that was... 2016. There. Well, that was a very good year. For bracelets. <laughs> um, can you read that one, Mariah? Uh, I want you to turn it so I can see it in the... Okay, keep turning. That's an 03. Yeah. But it's still in very good condition. Here's another one that's very cool. Oh, I like this one. Yeah, it kind of goes with your outfit. certainly does. It's kind of and it's a nice big one. Yeah, it like is. Like you could put it further up on your arm. Yeah. Uh, can you read the date on that? Um, Hold still. I think that's an 03. Yeah. I need that one. <laughs> All right, now look. See? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Nice. All right, you guys done looking at bracelets? You done looking at bracelets? <laughs> Just Jeanette. really do love the lumpy, yeah, bumpy. Yeah, that goes well with your outfit. Too. It does. I should send one of these to Scotty. Yeah. Scotty, did you come today? <laughs> Scotty Ross, you out there, girl? Oh, this isn't mine. That isn't yours? No. Yes, it is. You signed it on the other side. I see your name. Well, what does it say here? It says... I'll hand it to me. I can't. I don't know. But there are some in here that were made. And you know, I remember that... Okay, this is this is one made by... Kay uh, Fry. Maybe you were going to give it to her. I bet it was Candace. Candace made that. Well, you wrote and Patricia Carmichael 03 on it. Well, it must be something that I don't know. But yeah, I, mean, I know this like one was style. made. Yeah, this one was, I think Dolly made this one. Oh, this one. goes with my outfit pretty good. Like yeah, that. it does. Perfect. I don't know. If you're watching, let us know. <laughs> hey, Gary. <laughs> All right. Now, what do you need to do that with? No, you are not invisible. We are seeing you. Okay. 
one of the reasons I wanted to do the bracelets, and I did get started on this, was to do the texture paste and then maybe do rubbings over the texture paste. My main thing is what I would love to see you do today, we need to get that gel plate out because we've got 45 minutes. Um, okay. I would love to see you use the texture pasted tissue paper on the gel plate because number one, it oh, acts as an impression plate, oh, 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 oh. which is fun. Oh, this they this is they're not done anyway. This, this is not that bad. This is this is my um, I tore this paper up because I love this this weight of newsprint <laughs> is really great and usually I just use newspaper but I had this came with my beads so um, I just tore it up and put it in here and I have to show you. Okay, this is a oh yeah, this is a wide roll of scotch. I don't know what kind of tape that was. Probably that blue stuff. Mm -hmm. Izzy goes through that like crazy. And here's a small roll tape. But then remember, I was doing these. And the main reason you use the foil is to create form and add texture, right? Add texture and and also, you know, you're you're getting. A lovely texture here but it's also giving it strength because you don't want it to be wishy-washy and smushy well I guess it could be I don't know but I showed she I, likes I, a firm bracelet I like a firm bracelet. <laughs> here's the thing you can use rolled up twisted paper mm -hmm. pieces and then take your foil and go around and crunch it into the shape that you want it in okay that's if you don't have, you know, have a, I have lots of rolls of Well, and then tape. you want to tell them about, like, so the little washi tape roll things, you can keep those, and you can create little pendant things. Oh, that's a rubber band. <laughs> it's, you put yeah, it in the, the inside of this little jobber. Yeah. Yeah, I got some ideas for that. Okay. Let's gel this right. Yeah. We're going to do these. As I really, hey, Michelle. I, I really, I, I think these have definite possibilities for the Archipinko sculpture mm -hmm. project or a new bracelet project when I, yeah. you know, feel it happening. And we might have to do. We're going to do something 3D form in the future. <laughs> and the reason I'm going to use the smaller plates is because I think I can do some different things. You can get them. more more variety yes. on the plate, or on your paper. Yes, because I'll, I'll print different things different places, mm -hmm. and yeah, okay. I think that's a brilliant idea, don't you, Mariah? I think it All is. All right, we have turquoise here. So what I'm thinking is, and I don't really, I think that's this one. Now, the sure. other thing that might be interesting is, um, now not particularly on, this is puzzle. This is puzzle. That you got going on over here. Did you just do it in strips? Or, because that's not from the stripper, is it? Yeah, it is. Oh, okay. Well, this is stripper. Well, very good. Yeah. Um, let me drop that you could, one You could just you do the big one, but I, I don't know where my big one is. And it wasn't in its... Designated folder. Designated folder. Mm -hmm, Imagine mm -hmm. that. Imagine that. Imagine. You know, I, I was looking at these circles the other day that I've been saving. And you could actually do a, what do you call it, where a frequency. A frequency? A frequency. If you put all of the same colors together and then counted them out, you could put it on a frequency chart. What color do you use the most? Oh, you know what's funny that you say that, and, and it'll be coming up this year. Um, over on Instagram, it happens a lot, and it's some kind of app thing, or it ties into your Instagram, and you can, like, it, it goes through all of your photos and everything that you've posted for the last year, and it does that thing where it tells you, like, what colors come up the most and I give you like these circle chart things it's kind of fun oh for sure okay look at that cool stuff there hmm so see texture 
Now, Pace look at this. Look at what happened here. Impression plate. So we know when you put magenta over turquoise, you get a lovely, lovely purple. But you have that little outline of blue there, which is, I think, really stunning. I'm going to have to do some more. Okay, I'm going to put that aside for a sec and let that dry properly. Grab something else here. All right, let's try a different color. Let's try some of my favorite. Oh, okay. Uh, Jacqueline asked a question. Is there a list of all of your stencils, names, titles that could print off so I can easily keep track of the stencils I have ordered? We can make that happen. At one point, I was creating a catalog, but it was just getting like really sort of crazy. But yes, a list I can do. I will post that. Where can I post that? Makers. Kind of an ongoing catalog of just a list though. I'm not doing pictures because that gets tricky. Um, but yes, it's a very good idea. And I will have that either available like through a link and I'll post it on the community on YouTube and also in makers look how cool but it'll is. live over on our website i'm just going to continue on with this that yeah. isn't very interesting just, just carry on carry on <laughs> just use a little transparent red oxide oh that would be good okay i can post it in the um fantastic thank you violet um in the paint mixing guide yes yes a spreadsheet love a spreadsheet because I can, I can export that from the shop, even. Now it'll require a little cleaning up because we have soup, what they call super products, you know, with the multiple choice, but I think we can get her done pretty quick. looks pretty cool okay I'm gonna let that dry oh I've been trying hey Deb I've been trying to go back and at least in in the shop put like so when she calls them connect the dots I put in aka connect the dots so that way if you search in the shop it will show up because it's part of the actual title of or the name so yes <laughs> I've been trying to do that more Okay, now that was magenta, quinacridone crimson. Here's quinacridone red. Let's try that. Put it up in the middle, kind of there. Just have a little one of this because I didn't know if I loved this. It's a little bit more opaque. I had a dirty grayer there, so we're going to, well, but we've got a contaminated plate anyway. We don't care. <laughs> Talking that contaminated. Now, I would say that this is definitely more um, leaning towards bracelets versus Archipenko, because, like you said, you, your Archipenko, and, and I think it was Julie that pointed out in the one stream where you're like, we're going to keep everything very neutral today, and you ended up using the upper rose like most of the time. <laughs> Sometimes I don't even know what I'm hey, going to do. Oh, look at that. Isn't that, that's going to be stunning. Now, remember, when you guys get your stencils, you can always create texture plates from the stencils. Yes. Have some light and fluffy on hand. So light and fluffy is the best. The best. I haven't tried the golden. They have a new fluffy or they, hmm. I don't know if it's new. It may be old. I don't know. It's new to me. Okay, I'm not really worried about um, balancing this because this is going to be a ripped up. rip up anyway. So I'm just experimenting with color here and seeing what I like. And I don't know if I'm going to love this. I use this stuff a lot and I'm just kind of going, yikes, I don't really like that. Why am I using that? It's just too clean, <laughs> I think. Well, we're certainly messing that up so we don't have to worry about that. Okay, let's see. Let's 
Oh, uh, Jacqueline has been trying to find the purplish blue paint that he likes. I think she's talking about maybe the Schmalt or. Is it in the tube or the bottle? Yeah. Now, the this is the one I love. Oh, that? This. Okay. Love this one. Is that is the Shuttle Arts? This is, um, I don't know, I can't read it. Yeah. Oh, yeah, you're like down to none. Um, yeah, so this is Shuttle Arts. It comes in a set. You don't buy them individually, if you are talking about this one. And then Folk Art has a similar. But it's not quite exactly the same, and I don't like it as well. The thing about the color or the shuttle arts is that in that set there's like see look there's three different ones. now obviously this is the dark one this is the one she really loved but you could start getting a little crafty and mix these up along with that darker blue that came with it and I bet she would get really close to this and the fact that it's all color change and it's from the same manufacturer you wouldn't lose any of its shimmering color changing abilities it's a I probably could, but I'd like for just to have it in the model sometimes. Yeah, this is the one. So that's the Shuttle Arts. It, it's a set of um, 16. I'll drop a link one second. So that way you Okay, know that I'm was probably about. rushing that a little bit, but I don't really care. It's just, we're just making paper. Making paper. Making paper. Beautiful. Ooh, that is. Okay, we got some good stuff here. All right, well, we're going to put that aside, and I don't know. I think this definitely is a bracelet that's speaking to me of a bracelet. Can you see this This right down the middle here? This. Then you could use that outside part. I don't know. I might have to do some more turquoise. Huh. All right, now we got this little jobber. It's on the metallic. So I don't know what I want to do with this. So I'm not going to do anything with that right now. Put that over yonder. Okay, here we go. We've got purple. And this was just, remember I was doing the, ooh, this is when I did shoes. Is that what, oh, because that's the, the, okay. I was like, why are so bubbly looking? Yeah, I know. Pretty weird. All right, let's get some more yellow on here. Because we know what happens when we mix yellow with purple. And this is really red violet. Boy, this is turning into a really nice piece of paper over here. Hello, welcome, Kristen. Sorry, I was looking up um, links there. Um, Jacqueline, that is the link to the Shuttle Arts 16 Colors Color Shifting Paint. Um, it has that blue that she loves so much in it. And then Carla, like she, the dragonfly glaze is a little bit different than the color changing. Co the, the glazes are more like, because they are clear with the shifting ability. They work the best. Well, they all do. Any of the color change stuff works the best, like with darker paints or darker papers. Yes. If you really want to see it do its thing. Yeah. Now I'm going to use, I'm going to do some on this one because just because you brought that up. And I know that I want oh, transparent. You, you want your favorites? No, favorite. Not yet. I think we should play around with trying to mix these other ones into the color that you like. <gasps> Look at that wonderful little trinket. My trinket jar is almost full. Yeah, you're going to have to find something to do with all those or move to a bigger jar. Well, there's <laughs> always that option. Remember the other day when I snapped that shut and it splattered all over me? Now we've got a bit going on here in the background, okay. but that's okay. Oh, crud. Very proud of you. <laughs> Ooh, look at that. Mm. That's some awesome stuff. Now, I'll tell you, the person that I learned how to do this bucks. overlapping of, of things here, well, number one, when it started out, I didn't have a, I didn't have any big plates. I just had the five, I started off with the five by sevens and then went up to eight by ten and, and of course then. And then back. Back and forth. Was 
I watched Robin McClendon do this, and I mean, you know, there you go. There you go. That I don't do it the same way for the same purpose that she does, but that doesn't matter. The I got my is, yeah. my original uh, inspiration from. Oh, but okay, now here's this. Ooh, isn't that? And that kind of goes. I want to get this off of here because if I start putting pink and reds over it, we're just going to get some brown, brown. Brown, brown, brown. brown. <laughs> you know, brown. You know, brown. <laughs> My usual brown. Oh, good. And welcome to those of you that are coming in. Do say hello in the chat so we can say hello back. If you plan on staying and hanging out and you're enjoying it, do give the thumbs up. I very much appreciate it. Isn't that cool? Oh, and bye, bye, Caroline. I was like, who's leaving? Is it Caroline or Sharon? <laughs> okay, let's go with a little orange because we can still. This can be yellow orange, and oh, I know what I can do. I can add a little bit. Of oh, thank you, Mouse. Crimson, and make it more of a red orange rather than a yellow orange. Nice. Just, just draw. Not a lot. Face it away from you. <laughs> Slapping you in the face. It's a wee bit of paint there. A wee bit. <laughs> <clears throat> but we got some neat stuff going on here. Fran will be real proud of me. I didn't over her. <laughs> she caught that the other day, Fred. <laughs> oh, yeah. I hear. There's nothing wrong with my hearing. My eyesight's going. <laughs> And my hearing is well, select. So I was going to say, it depends, yeah. depends on the day. <laughs> I, boy, did I open myself up for that one. Yes. Bird nest on the ground. Okay, that's wonderful. I'm going to keep that for a bit. Oh, it does. I will. I, I told him, and he's like, well, I didn't see it, but now I see it. Okay, I'll let him know. Thanks, Mouse. We're, we're just going to kind of try to keep this in the same color family here since we are kind of going in that direction. Anyway, I'll tell you what. Bang for your buck. He says she's proud. She's that you're listening. Oh. <laughs> oh, that's funny. That <laughs> Gary says that was dis diplomatic. Diplomatic? <laughs> yes. That's me. Yeah. That's me. All right, so we're getting a little bit of this out here, but right. we don't want that to be exactly the same. So we'll add a little quinacridone just for chuckles and grins. Yes. Shiggles and giggles. <laughs> Shiggles and giggles. <laughs> we'll let that kind of craze up because that's usually what it does uh -huh. when you add oh, too much paint. And... Oh, that's just lovely. Well, we'd love to see it, but yeah, are you messing with the thing on the plate first? What? Or are you going to show it to us? Okay. I I'm going to get still it. work it. I'm going to get it. If you wanted to push that up towards your paints a little bit, I wouldn't be mad at you. All right, fantastic. <laughs> hey, it's your job. I just to wasn't sure. Keep me on camera. Well, I know. I just, Look at that. Isn't that wonderful? You're feeling kind of, you know. Oh, I love that. All right, now. Short I'm going to. Like a. What I is need it? transparent turquoise. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. I, I'm just, I, I am not kidding. I, I absolutely, when we got these paints, I was like, oh, jeez, these are just so trendy. I don't think I'm probably ever going to use those. She I use them, them all the time. She loves them. They, they, they are, you know, main access point on the cart. They are. Mm -hmm. And I mean, most of them I've almost, you know, used up. That's like playing with them, yes. <laughs> yes, yeah, like a T-Rex. <laughs> oh, Ooh, now that I love. Look that, at that. that Isn't that, that just my gorgeous? Shirt. Oh. Yes, okay. Let's do another blue. 
I really, you know, I hate using them. I'm going to use blues that I don't usually use because this is kind of poopy. I don't really like it. It's a little bit too opaque. But I don't know. I'll, 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 I won't use very much and I'll brayer it out. Oh, Leanne's having a tree taken down today. Oh, Did it? I don't know. Did it die? She just wants to, you know, pray for her on oh. having fortitude to get through my giant pine tree getting dropped today. Oh, it was like a friend dying or something almost. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I love this color. Goes with my shirt. I love this color. I love this shirt. That's why I made her, you know, fix it. <laughs> okay, I like that too. Now let's try even, a little of this purpley blue color. She says, they don't even end up on your elbows. How is it? I don't know. Like, just that's where the holes ended up. So that's, you know, where yeah. it catches, but it's not necessarily on my elbow. I think it, if I scrunch it up, then that's where it ends up. I don't care. I was just very happy that it got fixed. I love this shirt now. Yeah, those... You can really see the outline of uh -huh. the Tinko sculpture. On the back side. <laughs> On this the back side. side. Yeah. yeah, you can't see it on this side. Alright, I think I have to I'm really liking that that color. I like your but, brayer off. I think you should switch it out. Do what oh I know. Isn't that lovely? Yeah, don't mess it up. Yeah, there's nothing like like you know. Yeah, rolling black over a beautiful Oh, no, there's nothing like going ahead and jinxing the whole project by saying, don't mess it up. No, oh, that too. Whatever you do, don't mess that no. up. I really love that. <laughs> You're a professional. You can handle it. I can handle it? Yeah. Okay, I like that. I really do. Yes, can you hold, it, hold it in the... I need a little in the middle there. I don't know why that didn't get any. Well, or you if were it did, it just... Oh, there you go. Yeah. Oh, look at that. I just love this all oh, this transparent sea glass. Sea glass. Yes. There is a strip down the middle. It yeah, didn't you get anything it. there. <laughs> mm. Orange or blue. Orange or blue. I've used up all of the oh, I haven't used any of that. Have I? Or did I just put it back on there? Um, I don't know. I don't know. But it's going to have a little bit of everything here because it's, you know, yeah. a little bit of everything still on the gel plate. Yeah, there's still some. And, and on your brayer. <laughs> How about that? How about that? How about that? But that's working out really well. pulling things together. <laughs> Darcy says, yes, the brayer gives gifts. <laughs> and what I have noticed when you're using these, um, Color change things, they reactivate. Isn't that a gorgeous? Yes, leave it on the there. Put it off to the side. Ooh. Get your new paper. Alrighty. Well, I think we have. I like that one. I think this is really pretty. Really pretty. I love the way it. And see, this is this color shift Mariah was saying earlier that shows up on black. Yeah. And but I, it also shows up really well on dark purple. Yes. Dark. Dark colors. Yes. And I love how you are holding your, your gel plate because it's actually creating a nice um, color and, and it really lit up the whole. So, you know, do that from now oh. on. It are adjusted the camera ni nice enough that you shot light into it so that way it balanced out the. So, well, good job. Holy moly, who mm -hmm. knew? Okay, now I have to be really careful about <laughs> where I set this because it's very wet. It's kind of like, you know, when they're doing, Saturated. doing those um, photo shoots on the beach and they're holding those little... 
I think this needs some blue on it. Yes. I Don't agree you? It's still a little sticky, but I think it can handle it. Because I've got some edges down here that I didn't get at all. Mm -hmm. And we, we want it all to be covered because then you have more right. to um, color with. Okay, well, I think we're just going to continue on with this because we've already got it here and there's not really anything on there that's horribly interesting. Awesome. Well done, Lisa. <laughs> what are you chuckling uh, at? Let me answer this. Uh, hot, hot brayer paper. I mean, even the neutralizing part mm -hmm. of the thing. I'm going to do some over this, really, this yellow that I don't like anyway. That yellow is just some... I know. I just, I, I keep using it and thinking I'm going to like it. <laughs> Something different's going to happen. <laughs> you know, if I've noticed I go for a long time before. I'm going, I think I need to try that again. I, 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 maybe Today's I'm going to like day. it now. <laughs> Today's the day. <laughs> Today's the day. <laughs> the yellow's going to do it. The yellow's going to no. do it today. It wasn't today. <laughs> This is it. Oh my gosh, I don't have any paper down over there. The nice thing about the tissue is you can sort of see through it and you know where you're going to... This is very true. I need to line it up. I don't want to waste any of that. I just love that. Love it so much. Oh, yes. That... But here's the thing. Now it looks great, and even though like you had it on the edges, it just needs to not be, you don't need large areas of just that yellow. Yeah, because it's a bit much. Yeah. I so agree. All oh, right. Deb says this is so cool. Is there an official name for this technique? I call it patchworking, but like that. I think that that's what Robin calls it, too. Oh, does she? See, I, don't so, know. I don't She know. watches Robin. Here. I haven't used any of that. I love it. Are you but on this? Yeah. Mm -hmm. You just watch, Mariah. Okay. You just need to watch. Hey, Gayla. Gayla. Well, you got it. You got to watch the replay. There was some good stuff in the beginning. Get your note up on some things. That's right. <laughs> we we did teacher stuff, or just don't. You know, you don't feel like you need to know all that. Yeah. Ooh, I like that. And this is really like glaze patchworking because these are glazes. And yeah, and you're seeing, this is what's lovely. You learn a lot about, oh my gosh, I just almost put it on my brand new sleep pants. <gasps> I love that you call them your sleep pants. Why don't you just that's call them your, they, that's your pants? That's what they call them on Amazon. Because they're like your everywhere pants. <laughs> these are my pants. <laughs> Those are my pants. <laughs> and here, here's really a really cool thing. When you're really short, you can order capris in their regular length. They, 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 they're like what you want them to be. <laughs> I don't have to hit, cut them off or hem them up. I tell hey, you, I, okay. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Good jobbers. It's very impressive. I like it very much. You're hired. We'll keep you. Okay, I'm thinking, just because I've got some on here, I have to turn this around. Hopefully it's not dry. Mm -hmm. I, you know, I really didn't like that big old yellow. <laughs> At least it says capris are shorts for her. <laughs> That's okay. Yes, if you're tall. Yeah. <laughs> then yeah, they're like long board shorts. <laughs> but for us. It's like regular <laughs> yeah. pants. Yeah, they're like pants. Pants. Okay, I don't think I'm quite Pedal finished pushers, with this. Yes. I'm just loving how this is happening here. I do too. So much. But I think mm. you should not tempt fate and just leave it alone. Well, where's the fun in that, Maya? I don't know. Where is the fun, fun in, in that? that? Holy cow. Aw, <laughs> Judy, thank you so much. She oh gave God. us some super chat. Oh, thank you, thank you. I'm going to bring in this color because this is kind of blue-violet. This was kind of red-violet. Mm -hmm. So we're going to have a little blue-violet. Boy, this is going to have every color in the rainbow in it. Izzy will love it. <laughs> yeah, I mean, P's barely five foot, I think, right? 
Well, I used to be 5'2", but yeah. the last time I went... She shrunk. Yeah. It happened. It I'm 5'2". I always said, you know, if I were a little taller, I'd be the right weight for my height. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Instead, it went the other direction. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I ain't being mean. No, I just These got fl facts. fluffy. Yeah, I got fluffy and I shrunk. <laughs> <laughs> Everything I it's didn't, need, <laughs> didn't need to do. Oh, that's funny. <laughs> oh, it would make a fantastic dragonfly wing. Don't you have that? Do you have those? I don't even... Did I give you that? What? Dragonfly wing? Yeah. Now look at that. Isn't that awesome? But part of the thing is, is that, see, there's texture paste on there. Yeah. And so that's what's giving some of the cool... Effect of double, double whammy. Yeah. There. That's a nifty piece. It is. I'm going to do one more. This feels a little... Naked. <laughs> I'm thinking Fran is shorter than you are. Yeah, Fran's pretty short. I could, I could see that. Or are you? If you hugged P, I'd crouch. Oh, are you tall, Fran? How tall are you, Fran? I want to know. Now I want to know because I don't. I'm trying to. I'm just trying to, you know, rub up some stuff off the plate because I. I don't know that I need a whole lot in that corner, and I think that's perfect. That's exactly right, Sandy. Mm -hmm. Okay, I, I'm 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 calling it done. Yes, please. Fantastic. Isn't that just fun? Fun, fun, fun. I had to get my deeper away. <laughs> All right. Let's. See. Oh, okay. She, yeah. She's taller, but only by an inch or so. She's she's more like my height. Who is? Fran. Oh. All right. Do we want to do something to this? Yes. The silver. Mm-hmm. All right. Well, let's just sally forth. Now, this is what we're going to do, ladies and gentlemen. Since we really don't want a lot of color whatnot going on there, we're going to try this. Now, I do have some color on here, but... This being... Oh. Uh, dragonfly glaze. Now, this is the more, like, it's clear. But see, it's got little greeny. But it shifts the color. Greeny dots to it. Yeah. Hoping that's going to kind of mitigate some of the um, orange stuff we got. Oh, Gayla. Well, do we ever. She says she has done an inventory of all her paints and has discovered that she only has three transparent colors outside of her golden high flow samples time to correct this appalling situation. Anyone uh, have suggestions? Quinacridone crimson. Now she may have those because she has samples. Quinacridone nickel azo gold. So you probably have those in your samples. Probably do. So above and beyond that, get yourself some of these color shift paints. I mean it's 20 bucks for and, 16. And I mean. If you like the shiny. Now if you don't like shiny, these are not for you. You want more serious. <laughs> I don't know. I just, I really <laughs> like these. And I even, I mean, I even use this on my serious art. Because I just, I, I don't, they're so subtle if yeah. you use them in a certain way. Now, mm -hmm. look at that. See, it pulls some of it off. But for whatever reason, this clear. And what I love about it is then when you bring in something like the quinacridone crimson or the yeah, really. nickel azo goat, it's going to pick all of that up and it's just going to be so awesome. Now, I don't know if you have any of this. This is nickel azo gold. I really like this. I, it's, it's like... Oh, Jacqueline, see, this is where I get very angry with P over here because she, Jacqueline would like to know, which video did you do these original tissue prints with the texture paste <laughs> design? I would like to know too, Jacqueline. Now, this is the stuff she does when she's not supposed to be, you know. I'm like, would you pick? Can we do that during stream? She's like, it's boring. <laughs> I put texture paste down. And I hate it. It's icky. She and gets very messy and she's a little grumpy when she does the texture paste don't really like to do it but I like what it does so I just suck it up and do it so it's best kind of get a whole batch done of them you know 
Oh, now look, see Take where the paper was? Look, yeah, we okay. would love to. This is really important. Where the paper was without the stuff on it, the paint and the whatever. Paint to paint. Paint to paint, but what's lovely, you can still see the shiny silver through the transparent, mm -hmm. um, whatever I used there. Oh, that was Nicolazo Gold. <laughs> Had to refresh my memory there. Well, yeah. let's just carry on with that, you know. Sally Forth, we've got Indian Yellow Hue. It is okay. I It's like not my favorite. But um, it is transparent. Fiona? Oh, I know. Indian yeah, yellow. Stuff. That's a good one. Yes. It's a little bit more opaque, a little more body to it than the. Um, let me use that down on this end. <laughs> Jacqueline, no, I love any opportunity to give her a hard time about that whole situation because. Uh, we t it comes up often around here. I'm like, boy, I bet our people would love to see that. So fantastic that you spent all afternoon making this wonderful stuff. Fantastic. I just think sometimes yeah. it's just... She's like, oh, I'll talk about it. I'll talk about it. <laughs> it really is quite simple. I mean, even if... Okay, here's the deal. If you have tissue papers that you have done, like the quick pulls... You know, the pull-offs. The pull-offs. The clean-ups, you know, around. Like clean-ups and the pull-offs and the... Brayer-offs, if you want to... Brayer-offs. Yeah, and, you want Oh, here. This, this, is, this would be a good one. Keep all of that. Then texture paste on top of it using those same or switching up the stencils. Okay, here. here I'm going to do it. Okay. Because I love this, but it's so dark and dreary and... We pulled it. And like, like for an Instagram thing, I was like, well, I know why you love this. I was talking to her, to me. Because, yes, it's dark and dreary, and I'm like, but it's not exactly very, like. All right, now, here's the other thing that I hate about this, because <laughs> you have to, I'm going to let that rest and ripen over there. All right, here's the deal. Once I finish with this, it needs to go into a bath immediately. Yeah, I'll take it. Okay. And I love these little strippers. Oh, look, here's one of the PM artists. Don't, don't. Look at that. Isn't that cute? Yeah, but don't muck up a thing with that. Oh, I'm not going to. I'm just going to set it over here okay, so okay. everybody can remember mm -hmm. who we are. Yeah. Just in case I remember. Well, you set it up. All right, and I've been using these. Is that thunder or is that something flying by? Oh, motorcycle or something. Yeah. Jeez. Using these horrible, I don't like this place. I don't like these people. Did you not clean up your edge? Probably your... not. Jeez, a little waste. But the problem is, is these aren't really, they're just, you can't, I tried to clean them up, but they, they're, they're not really plastic. They're something else. Yeah, they're weird. It's kind of like a... I'm hoping maybe it's like something that is... It could is... be bamboo. You know they make their straws out of bamboo or something like that now. Which is great. That's All right. What... Yeah, that was did you wrestle it? I did. We need to get one of those things. Yeah. Oh, look. This is a new virgin bottle. It is. You want to get this stuff off the lid because it, mm -hmm. after it doesn't get better. Mm -mm. Well, see there. See what that did there. Oh, that little... yeah, we kind of knew that, Carrie. So uh, he was watching a documentary on artists and found out that the original Indian yellow was made from dried urine from cattle who've been fed a diet of mango leaves. Wow! I think I knew that from sir. I or we've talked about that perhaps in a, another stream. I don't remember that. I know that they use urine to um... set dye. Uh huh. And to bleach out um, animal skins. Mm -hmm. Everybody pee in the same pot, and then you just, you know. Like pe your... people? You're in pot? Yeah. Down here. I don't know why it makes it any better, but. <laughs> I kind of feel like the cows are eating. And this is what. <laughs> this, this is what really is. Um, 
nice about these strippers. Yeah, Carrie. I think so, too. I thought, like, when we were doing the watercolor things or when it came up, yeah. <laughs> See, I think we've talked about it before. Well, you know, here's the thing. Sometimes when I, just like right now, see, I just messed that up. Oh, okay, yes, Jacqueline, this is, I'll, I'll drop a link. This is our most favorite, like, you will not think about texture paste the same. We, we've gotten lots of people all <laughs> needing and loving the light and fluffy, but I'll get you a link. The nice thing is, is a little bit goes a long way with it. It has the greatest loft that we have found with any texture base, and we have tried quite a few. Now, there are still some more that have come out or that we have found since then that we have not tried, but, you know, once you kind of find something you love, it's hard to justify trying something else. Yeah. And the other thing about it is when I'm using it over this dark background, when you do use your other colors, you want to make sure, and this is why I, I, I'm a big believer in the transparent. That just gives you more bang for your buck because you're getting not only the color that you're putting on, but you're also getting the color that you're also have below variety i tell you i'm gonna call this stream variety i didn't mean for us to you know that to be a common thing but i, I really feel like today is a lot about variety we certainly have covered a lot of different and i like to go ahead and do those on the end because you saw what happened on the other one Okay, Marcia, what you want to do, as soon as you are done with the stencil, you want to make sure you have, like, either a little water bath, um, a lot of, like, if you have, oh, those dish, you know, like the dishwashing tubs, or some people soak their feet in them, or any type of little tub, whatever's going to... They give them to you at the hospital. Yeah, that kind of thing. Um, or even just, you know, some Tupperware or whatever you have next to you because if you don't want to go and wash it straight away just get it in there so it keeps it wet and that way you can scrub it up and clean them because you do not want the texture paste to build up on the stencil because it just does not come off does not once it's, once it's dry it is on there now i'm having trouble getting this damn lid on you want to make <clears throat> sure your lid is on there good because otherwise that top layer is mm -hmm. going to do what we just had it's going to get the little bumpy bits that are really unpleasant and not so much fun. All right, Mariah. Yep, cat litter. <laughs> yes. Water baths. Yeah, baking trays. Any of that stuff. It's fantastic. All right, I shall be right back. And I'm just throwing that card away because it it won't clean up. And you don't you want a smooth card on the edge because if it's bumpy or something, you're not going to get a nice smooth um, surface there. All right, now we we'll just wait for this to dry, which we're not going to wait for it to dry. Obviously, we've got better things to do than that. Put it aside and let it dry. We're going to come back to this, this jobber here. Okay, so the underneath of this was just a pull-off. When I was experimenting with different metallic finishes, because I really think the Archipenko sculpture, you know, once, we, once I decide, you know, what we're going to do needs to have some sort of metallic aspect to it so that's um that's where i'm going on that one all right now this has got a little bit of something or other on there but i don't think it's anything that's going to mess us up here let's try let's try some of this pink with some of our yellow see what happens as I don't this this pink I like it but it's not like the best that little metal tray worked great yes that's what I used the other day 
getting some nice little whatchamacallis here. Uh, I would love to those stripper sense pages now. Oh yes, I will put that link directly to those particular strips. One second, and then uh, I wanted to read what Gala said here. Um, she says, "Congrats, P and M. You really have me thinking in a different direction. Fantastic. We like that. We like that. We do. We do. I will get you that link one moment." Hey, Anthony, he's the Baron Maker. Welcome. All right. Well, that's looking pretty good. I, I just need to add a bit more. Let's add some of this really pretty orange here. All right, so there are three different sets of the strips, but the one that has the dragonfly wing in it is this one. It's volume what, what, three. What, shall, what other ones does it have in it, Mariah? Remind me. Uh, I mean, I know I'm supposed to yeah, know it's that. A, well, they're all really good. I love I love our stripper sets. I really do. Cause it, you I, get, I do, too. You get such a cool little sampler. It's like the flight of PM Here. stencils. Yeah. So this particular one has the chevron, the dragonfly wing, aqueous effervescence the smaller that one that was the other one mm -hmm. here's this is aqueous effervescence here and then you get geo poly and bloopy loops i mean <laughs> i need to use geo poly i don't know where it is it's my problem and i would say that you know one of the things about like the the strippers is that if you don't have any of our stencils and you kind of want to get an idea and you want to play with something, but you, you know, like you get a lot of bang for your buck on that one. And it come, you can get small ones. What do we have them in? Three different, two different sizes? Three different sizes. Small, large, and, oh, then you can buy the set. That's right. Okay. Yeah. We have the, like the five and three quarter and then the eight and a half long ones. I'm handling this, and this is why you need wet strength tissue paper, because this really is, it's just, it's wet. <laughs> is it wet? <laughs> it's oh, wet. goodness, we are, we, we are at time. Oh. You want to continue on, or? Well, for sure to get this done here. Yeah, okay. I mean, oh, wait. Oh, sorry, I do need to add that, but I, I didn't want to put that in the name. So, yeah, it, in the site search, you just have to put in strips. But I will fix that. I'll say AKA. <gasps> right out in the middle, we have a big blank spot. Yeah, you do. But I kind of like it a little bit. I don't think we can have that, Mariah. Oh. I just think not. All right, let's use a little bit. And I don't like this yellow very much either. That was kind of my thought, Sharon. Yeah, you know, like, <laughs> I didn't know if we wanted to be coming up on that Whoa. Kind of search or, yeah. But I'll add it. I I'll do the AKA. There's so much you can do with the jump plate. It's not like just... You, you, it's not like one thing, and yeah. I think that's one of the reasons that I really do... I love it. All right, there. Look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? Look at that. Mm-hmm. All right. Yeah, that's good. Shall we leave it there? I can't believe it's time. Like I can't either. What, what did we do today? I don't know what. I, okay, we well, this is like my all-time favorite. Yes. And I still didn't even get to some of the ones that I'd already set up that I was going to pull off with other stuff. Oh, well. Say, so, Abby. Another day. Another day. Another day. This is a good one, too. I just love how the um, turquoise. And you got kind of a white spot there. I do. Yeah, how'd that happen? Oh, I've got one down here too. <laughs> Isn't it interesting? Because here you've got where the color was, and over here we know there wasn't any color. So you've got this red here, and then this magenta here, and that. then you've got this lovely, lovely violet. Mm -hmm. I just think this is. I'm, I'm going to do some more turquoise. I love turquoise. I do too. Just 
love turquoise and yeah. I've really messed up my paper here today. Well you can leave that out there so people can look at this yeah. as we say our goodbyes. Yeah. Are you showing more things? Well I'm just going to show them how you they know. start out. Oh, okay yeah so that's that'll take a little bit. The nice thing also about, about it I mean puppy. yeah another 10-20 minutes this will be ready I can I can go. Yeah. Man that looks cool on there like that though. Doesn't yeah. it? To see you're getting a little bit of that glint from yeah i think this is going to be a really good one I, i'll i'll uh oh and here's this one we mustn't forget this one yeah i like this that. is the purple with the very good all right guys so that is another sunday stream this is the end if you are coming in we do appreciate it but do come back watch the replay leave us comments we very much appreciate those give those thumbsy upsies if you haven't already like subscribe do all that youtube business we very much appreciate it number one way to support us and what we're doing here if you are new to the channel and want to hang out with all these lovely folks that you have seen here in the chat, Makers is where it is at. That is the Makers of Mixed Media Art and Artist Facebook group. All that information is down below in the description area. So if you missed it in chat, you can always go down there. If I have not posted anything, please do come back. Leave comments. Ask me. I will come back at any point in time. I answer all of those. Um, especially if you have a question about anything and we may even address it in a future stream so let's get and, it. and don't be shy about asking true that if i don't want to talk about it i won't she'll let you know, I don't I'm, know. I'm just like i'm sorry i'm busy right now i can get back to that later i think one oh this we is... will be back on tuesday because remember we do this three times a week that is tuesday thursday at 3 p.m central time and then we are back like today at 10 a.m on sundays we shall see you Tuesday. hey this is this is deli paper oh oh i know oh. because of the and it held up well it does it Only does thing it's, is, just, it's just tricky about um yeah i don't, when you I don't, I don't like it so much collaging collaging because it's still it's kind of filmy and it always you know a little tricky on taking this hard to beat it down on the paper yeah there we go all right guys bye bye